relationships with Mabel Egedi. For those of you that have just subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. God bless you. And for you that you're yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and be a part of this channel. Do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you get to be notified each time I put up a video. So today's topic, is it okay to go through my partner's spoon? The answer is no, it's not. The fact that you're in a committed relationship with someone doesn't mean that the person should not have any right to private privacy. And it doesn't mean that you should lose your right of privacy as well, just because you are in a committed relationship. Now, having said that, for people that are in a healthy relationship, usually they do not have anything to hide and they feel quite comfortable sharing their password with their partners. But the case is not always the same for everyone. The fact that in a healthy relationship, one has chosen to share a password with someone doesn't mean that the one that is not sharing a password with the other person doesn't have a healthy relationship. So I, I want us to really be clear about this. But sometimes when people are really curious about what's going on, you know, in the life, because the, the phone is more like a private diary, you know, like it, 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 would I say a mobile or an online diary actually is what the phone has become. And you know, diary is something really personal. You don't have to go through other, uh, someone's, someone's diary, but sometimes when you get curious, there's something going on there. It's either you are feeling insecure, or the person has given you cause to suspect that they are doing something fishy. And the only way that you can know is for you to, or one of the ways that you can know is for you to go through their phone and see what's going on there. Who are they communicating with? What are they talking about? Where is this person going to? Did this person actually go to where he or she had told me that they are going to, you know? So when, something is going on, you get curious and you want to go snoop. Now be careful because when you choose to snoop, most of the time your suspicion, you know, might be correct. Your instinct, your gut might be correct. Now, if you are not ready for what you would see, because what you would see may break you. I may break the relationship. If you are not ready, don't go snooping. But sometimes I believe that it's better to be in the know than to be in the dark. But there need to be an agreement because that would that would be seen as stalking. Because if the person has very, you know, whatever that is making the person like really protect their phone has nothing to do with you. Sometimes it might also be the nature of the job the person is is doing. You know, that is why they do not really want you to go through their personal stuff. And why would they even lose their privacy because they are in a committed relationship? So now this person might have very good reasons why. They are not ready to share their phones with you. Now, that would be seen as stalking. And there is also a breach of trust there because they trusted you and left their phone lying about where you are, believing that you would always respect, you know, their privacy and you wouldn't go snooping. And then you were, you, there, there you, you actually did, what, what you did was really against what they, they, they thought you would do. So now when trust is broken, the, the other person will, would want to always carry their phone about, like keep their phone away from you. Some people actually keep their phone away from you because they are doing something really, really shady, something that would break your heart, something that you do not even agree, you know, for them to do. So there are different reasons why people are very curious or want to go um, checking the other person's phone. So bottom line, I think it's it's a breach of trust for you to go through the other person's phone with, without their consent so if you have to go through someone's phone they have to be an agreement if they have not agreed for you to check their phone don't because that is seen as stalking now if they have asked for permission and you're saying no please state clearly state clearly the reason why you are not going to allow for them to go through your phone and let there be an understanding and let your actions and your word tally because when they don't match, the other person will find a way to check your phone or they may even start stalking you, which again is unhealthy. I do not agree with people stalking the other person. I feel that if you're feeling insecure, I feel that if you cannot trust someone and you shouldn't even be with that person at all, checking the phone 
might not really solve anything. It will just help you to be in the know and, you know, help your mind because your mind is really going crazy. You're crazy. You're asking yourself so many questions like what if, what if, and maybe one of the way for you to know is for you to check the phone. Now you might check the phone. So people are very, very good with their phones. They can be very cunning that they will wipe away. They will delete everything just in case you get a hold of their phone, you know, without them knowing you wouldn't see anything. So you will think, oh, I've checked this phone. I didn't say anything. And you might even go check in the phone and you will start to misinterpret everything. Like he said, hi, babe, how are you doing? And you'll be like, oh, why is he calling her babe? And you start to misinterpret everything. Oh, is this person really his sister? Oh, what kind of friendship do they have? You know, stop, stop. Learn to trust someone, take their words for it. And if you know you cannot trust this person and this person has given you reason, you know, not to trust them, walk away. Deal with it. Walk away. Find other ways to deal with that, that issue because there is more that is going on in the relationship that just checking off the phone will not solve. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.